My name is Brian Williams. I am a trauma surgeon and critical care specialist here at Parkland Hospital and UT Southwestern. And I'm a black man in a white coat. Any problems with your health since we last talked? Any changes, any colds, things like that? I think I have the best job in the world. I get to teach, get to care for patients. Today I'm on call. I work from 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. Any case that comes to the ER, whether it's a trauma case or an emergency surgery case, I will staff that case. I'm the first doctor in my family. My father was career Air Force. So growing up, we moved every three or four years, living on Air Force bases around the world. For me, I think the biggest thing was just you know, mingling with all sorts of people from all different types of backgrounds. It just becomes ingrained to you that people are people. You treat them based on who they are, not what they look like or where they come from. So I try to carry that over into my practice as a physician. His right lower extremity, his white count is still 27 post-op. That's a source of pride for me to be able to represent my race well in this profession. You get used to being just one of a handful of black physicians wherever you're working. So I feel that I've brought a lot of other ways of thinking, other ways of approaching patients and families that might otherwise have been overlooked or ignored had I not been present. I'm gonna put my initials here, okay? So we, we don't get lost in the OR, okay? I've taken care of gangbangers. I've cared for white supremacists. I've also cared for a lot of innocent people that have gotten injured. Okay. Do you have any questions? I've had people that have hugged me, tell me how proud they are to have me as their doctor. Because there are many people that have told me that they've never had a black doctor in their entire lives. Sometimes you feel like you're this rock star celebrity walking into the room. And for me, I'm just Brian Williams, a doctor who's got to where I am with the help of a lot of people that have helped me get here. Okay, we'll do it open. Not a problem. I have had many mentors throughout my career. I didn't do this by myself. I'm standing on the shoulders of giants that have helped me get to where I am. I would like to see more minorities entering medical school or just entering the sciences in general. And I think that we need to actually get people motivated when they're in seventh and eighth grade. You don't have to focus on any specific thing. Just be interested in learning and doing your best. I think the rest will follow. Here in UT Southwestern, I have two medical students that I mentor, so I try to spend time with them talking about what their struggles are, what their aspirations are, I try to keep them on track just to become the best physician they can be. If you're a young black male, find a mentor that you can talk to about what it takes to become a doctor. Despite all the obstacles that you are going to have to overcome, and there will be many, it'll be frustrating and challenging if you put your heart and mind to it. But you can still achieve the highest level of excellence. We need more black physicians. It's good for you, it's good for our patients, it's good for the profession, it's good for humanity in general.